Hello? Is anyone there? <sighs> Can anyone hear me? Please, if, if you're if you're there, just just tell me. Okay, I'm gonna wait and see if any folks out there are joining. It's day three, and if you can see this recording and you made it through the zombie apocalypse, drop a brain emoji in the chat. Okay, looks like no one is here again, but I guess I'll get started anyway. So, hello, hi, daily check-in, it's day five. I'm still here recording live from my apartment in New York City. Still no signs of life, of human life. <sighs> On my block, I looked out the window today and there continues to be absolute carnage out there. The zombie apocalypse is exactly how they portrayed in the movies, by the way. It's all cars overturned, fiery trash cans. I saw my neighbor, Mrs. Thompson, pushing her cart down the block. And this time it had arms and legs in it and not cabbage or eggplant or celery. So I guess they got her too, which is a bummer because she used to make this banging mac and cheese with bacon in it. She would always drop some off because she had issues with portion control. <laughs> I wonder if your issues carry over to your zombie cells. You know how like vampires become a more heightened version of their human cells once they turn? Does that happen with zombies? Hmm. Could be. I mean, she did have body parts in that cart. God, that sucks because, whoo, I could really use some of that mac and cheese right about now. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so I think it's official. It's day 11 and everyone I know is a zombie. Seriously, everyone. E-V-E-R-Y-O-N-E. -E -E. Even my therapist. I called her for an emergency check-in and all I got was grr, 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 grr. brains, 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 brains. I mean, how does that help me? I am in a crisis here. I don't even know what to do anymore. The world is just different now and I just have to accept it. I guess I wish I didn't have to though. Cause I feel like this could have all been avoided. You know, you would think that if there was some kind of flesh tearing, brain eating, reanimated corpse walking around your neighborhood hunting for brains that you would just want to stay inside and live. <laughs> but then there are some people who are like, freedom this and freedom that, and you can't tell me what to do. And so people just keep going outside to get bit. And well, that is where we are. America, baby. Anyway, now, permanently trapped in my tiny apartment, running low on food, in my fridge and in my covers, hiding out. And the only person I can talk to is Miami. Hi, Emmy. Emmy is the only friend I have left. I mean, obviously we can't go outside, so. We have to find other ways to entertain ourselves. We play cards, we do puzzles, we dish on the celebrity gossip, even though that's been kind of dead lately. She tells me her secrets, I tell her mine. I know she doesn't look like a good conversationalist, but she is. And, and she also doubles as a weapon in the event that somebody busts through that door. You see those pointy wings? Bam, right in the eye. And there's lights out in me, and, 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 and we are ready for anything. So don't you worry about us, okay? Because we just gonna be fine. Fine, 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 ooh. Fine, 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 ooh. I'm just gonna be just fine, 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 ooh. I see one. 
You see her? Go to your right. Go slow. You see? They're coming for us. They're coming for us. Duck! Alas, poor oh York, I knew him, Horatio, a fellow of intimate jest, of most excellent fancy. No matter what I do, somebody get to her. Would you stop thinking about what everyone wants? Stop thinking about what I want, what he wants, what your parents want. What do you want? I want to leave my fucking apartment. What? I want to leave my fucking apartment. Do you? Do you want? <laughs> I want to leave my fucking apartment. <laughs> what do you want? I want to leave my fucking apartment. Hi. Hello again. Day 126. Emmy and I are still here. I'm not going to lie. These past few months have been rough. But we made it. We've been going on late night grocery store runs. Dodging in and out of the shadows to avoid detection. Most grocery stores are low on supplies, so we're going to have to move on soon. But virtually every other place is dealing with the same shit when it comes to these damn zombies. <laughs> so, where do we go next? Where do we go from here? <laughs> you know how in the movies, the heroes move on to form some kind of self-sustaining society in some remote area? They start over. Problem is, no one details the plans on how to do it. It just sort of happens. So, I guess I need to do that too. Figure out my next moves. Sorry, our next moves. And all of that. Make the best of what we got. <laughs> you know, before all of this, when I was too busy with auditions and shows and running myself ragged, I used to always joke about moving somewhere remote and just hitting reset button, slowing down. Maybe this whole fucked up situation is my chance to do just that. Maybe this time I just take my time. So wish me and any luck. <laughs> and I wish you luck. Bye for now.